this is very fascinating, actually. Uh, speaking of of the sort of public cooperation or the sort of relationship entrepreneurs like you have with governments or uh, sort of regulatory bodies or or sort of yeah, just bureaucracy in general, I guess. So, how has that experience been for you uh, at, with Innovat? Uh, so we've been talking with several governments and uh, with UK specifically, it took one year to convince them uh, to digitalize the tax free process. Um, and we're still in process of discussing this. And, you know, it's hard for us uh, being not uh, uh, native British people. We're coming from overseas. I'm from Ukraine. My co-founder is from Russia. And uh, of course, it's challenging. I mean, um, in Europe is also going quite well. But what we mainly help government is uh, reducing their fraud. So because the process is such manual, uh, it's completely obsolete. Um, it's all paper heavy and all the recordings, all accounting is done um, like it was done 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Uh, so what we help government is to reduce the risk of fraud and to manage everything uh, digitally and efficiently, um, helping them to track uh, where the money goes, basically. Can you speak a bit more about that year and what happened and sort of what the relationship is? Because, I mean, I guess if you see this from both perspectives, on the other hand, yes, you have a solution, definitely. And, and your sort of job, I guess, is to sort of negotiate and convince and sort of present to the cases why uh, your product or service is a good thing uh, for them to implement. But then on the other hand, I can also see the government side where, I mean, obviously they can't say yes to everything or anyone uh, just on a whim. Otherwise, uh, what's the point of having a sort of uh, stable institutions in that? way so how do you sort of bridge this gap uh, with negotiation and 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 just letting them know that this is a good thing to do um so we so for example with the uk government uh, we've done multiple meetings and um approach them from uh, <laughs> different sides and you know it's hard to uh, reach that specific team that's responsible for innovation uh, within that sector where you operate so um, yeah we, we've tried many ways of uh, approaching them but we finally found the right team and when you find the right team it's much easier the discussion goes smoothly and there is such some process that you have to follow so we were uh, presenting our demo, uh, we were showing our numbers, the research, the advantages here and there. So um, with Belgian government, for example, where uh, we've passed through the testing phase and uh, almost ready to launch our digital solution, um, we've done that uh, through a middleman, which was connecting us to the government and uh, also uh, showing the benefits of uh, our system. And uh, with Belgian government, it was a little bit easier and it took less time, firstly because of COVID, uh, because uh, Belgium wa wants to increase the number of tourists coming into their country and wants to digitalize processes all around their country. and. Um, the second thing is uh, it's much smaller and uh, um, I can say more open to innovation. Um, yeah, so I, I mean, it varies from country to country how you approach uh, the tax officials. And uh, we tackle that uh, depending on uh, their interest and how open they uh, are they to the innovation. Okay. And do That's you usually start off with some form of pilot or testing period to kind of do it, you know, smaller yeah. first so they don't have to, you know, trust you with <laughs> their whole system right away. And, and then once you go through that, then you hope to get, get you know, a bigger chunk of the operations probably. Exactly. Um, <laughs> as you do with your system, you do A-B testing, right? So the same thing goes with uh, approaching new uh, ways of doing things. Uh, for the government and you know this testing phase um, it all depends on uh, how it goes of course and uh, what the government decides in the end and their say is the most important thing so you need to do everything right in order to convince them convince them to approach the digitalization 
and how does it work is who is like your end customer is it the the governments who are paying for this service and you help them kind of digitalize their whole system and and, and at some point they they hopefully just use this or or uh, you know some form of combination of systems or is it the the people who you know do the VAT filings on your system who pay you or how, how does that the business model work for you so we have a general model is B2C uh, where our end customer is the traveler and um, with some governments when they're open uh, for integrating our system into their um, tax-free management uh, operations uh, then we do that for example we're in talks with um, two countries in europe uh, where the governments are interested in to us developing for them uh, um digital system where they can manage all their tax refund claims for international travelers so it again depends but the general model is b2c and we care about uh, international travelers a lot and how they go through the whole tax-free process and we make sure that they get it right